sensitivity, and specificity. Brought to you by Testing Wisely. Let's return to the three P's framework. The second P reminds us that the probability changes with a positive or negative result based on the clinical sensitivity and specificity of a test. While many diagnostic tests perform well, none are perfect. Doctors must take many factors into consideration when determining the meaning of a test result. This means a positive result does not always indicate a patient has a disease, and a negative result does not always indicate a patient does not have a disease. To understand the validity of a test, or what a test can and cannot tell us, doctors rely on a test's specificity and sensitivity. Sensitivity measures how often a test is positive in people who have the disease that is being tested for. If we know there are 100 people with the disease and 90 test positive, the test has 90% sensitivity. A test with 90% sensitivity will correctly return a positive result for 90% of people who have the disease, but means a 10% miss rate of people with the negative test results who have disease, or false negatives. Here's how this looks in a traditional 2x2 two two table. Specificity measures how well a negative test identifies people without disease. If we know there are 100 people without a disease and 85 test negative, the test has 85% specificity. A test with 85% specificity will correctly return a negative result for 85% of people without disease, but means a 15% rate of people who are positive but don't have disease, or false positives. Here's how this looks in a traditional 2x2 two two table. The ideal test is one that has both high sensitivity and high specificity, but the value of a test depends on the situation. If a good test, such as a pregnancy test, is conducted on a patient very unlikely to have the condition, the test result may be less reliable or surprising. Let's return to our patient, Ms. Mendez, from the pretest probability video, being considered for a heart attack. An exercise stress ECG test is 60% sensitive and 75% specific. Although commonly used, this test doesn't give conclusive information, but makes a disease somewhat more or less likely. This test has to be used carefully based on her pretest probability and the pros and cons of testing. You'll learn more in the video how to calculate the meaning of a positive or negative test result. Let's return to our patient, Mr. Burke, interested in HIV testing. The HIV antibody test is 99.9% .9 specific and 99.9% .9 sensitive. This test is unusually accurate. A negative almost always means no disease, and a positive almost always means disease. This test can be used for widespread screening. It is often hard to find the clinical sensitivity and specificity of a test, but Testing Wisely has designed a calculator that includes summary numbers on common tests. The pearls to remember when approaching sensitivity and specificity. Sensitivity is how well a test catches those with disease. A 90% sensitivity equals a 10% miss rate. Specificity is how well a test identifies those without disease. An 85% specificity equals a 15% false positive rate. There are few truly good or bad tests. Most need to be thoughtfully used in the right situation. Visit www.testingwisely.com to learn more.